to go and buy a bunch of bananas from the street and then just pop into the chemist from the streets to, <laughs> with your bananas. <laughs> Has everyone clearly agreed with James May and was wrong, like James May? We're on to the next row. Bananas are the worst fruit. Oh, what's wrong with them? They're horrible. They have a weird texture and a creepy shape and everyone who likes them is wrong. Why is the shape creepy? It's a crescent. No, but it's... Like it's... the moon or the symbol of Islam. It's not creepy. It's just bent, curved. It's just... I mean, it's phallic, isn't it? It's just awkward. Like, at school, I had to watch our religious studies teacher put a condom on one of them. And, like, I mean, it's just... Really? It's not, yeah. It was... Yeah, I mean, there's nothing more I can say about that. It was just... It was just they it demonstrated was just, putting a condom on with a banana. Yep. An actual banana. I don't know if it was, like, budget cuts or what, but it was... Yeah. It was disturbing. I hope you've never met a bloke whose penis did look like a banana because he needs to go and see somebody very quickly. I mean, I don't really know how to answer that one. I'll say, I'll say no. Well, I'll say I don't no. expect you to answer it. <laughs> They're just everything about them. The texture is like a cross between mushy baby food and catsick and they're slimy. Like, no food should be slimy. But they're only slimy if they're overripe. But they're just... And then with that, it's like green, 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 yellow, and you've got five minutes to eat this, and then it goes brown, and well, then they're slimy again. Your banana management is very poor, Rachel. I think that's your problem. They just ruin everything. They ruin desserts. Like, toffee is great. Cake is great. Bread is great. Why would you then put bananas into the equation and ruin everything? Because bananas taste ace, and... Bananas are yellow, which is the world's best colour. All the best things in the world are yellow, like sunshine, bananas. My first car was yellow. But then if they're not just yellow, well. they're also brown, which is a horrible colour. Well, the sun is never brown. No, but bananas are. Well, anyway, if you, if, yeah, if you leave them for too long, they go brown. Yeah, that extra like five them, minutes. I don't, I don't like them if they're too firm and underripe, a bit like avocados are too firm when they're underripe. And I agree with you, there is a window. There is a window of banana opportunity, but that's true of tomatoes, loaves of bread. It's true of everything, really. And bananas have, when you get it right, you can tell you've got it right because of the way it peels. When, when the banana's right, it peels in a particularly satisfying and quite easy way. And then the texture is just slightly on the teeth, but it hasn't gone floppy. If you peel it and it falls off, it snaps off. It's it's just slightly over. But when the banana is right, banana is a wonderful thing. A banana flavour is fabulous because you can make banana milkshake with banana or banana flavouring. And banana flavoured sweets are nice, like banana chews and those carumba bars that are banana flavour. They're fantastic. They don't taste like bananas, though. No, they taste of banana flavour. Admittedly, yeah. banana flavour is also fantastic. Banana flavour good, bananas bad. So you I mean, like you like banana flavour? Yeah. You'd like Just a banana milkshake banana. if it was made with banana syrup? I'd rather take a chocolate milkshake, to be honest. But, you know. But you wouldn't vomit at a banana milkshake? No, probably not. But you wouldn't touch a real banana? Mm-mm. Is this just an elaborate hang-up because of your RE teacher treating one as a penis? <laughs> Why was your RE teacher showing you how to put a condom on anyway? That's is that part of religious well, education? Like religious studies and like was it P P H S E or P S H E or whatever it was called? P T S D, I think, is what you got. <laughs> it's mush encased in weird yellow mush, but then you have to take that off, and then it leaves this weird stringy bit behind. Like it's just, it's awful. But okay, but what about the flavour? No, like it just ruins ruins everything. Like if you've got like a lovely fruit salad and there's a nice. You know, it's got nice bits of melon and apple in it, and then there's just some mushed up vom in there. Like, it's, oh. You keep talking about horribly over bananas. Have you ever had a fruit salad with a nice banana in it? I mean, maybe I have sort of, You know, sliced up because it's still firm. I mean, maybe, maybe that's my issue for the past... However many years of my life, I've just never had a, a good banana. I don't want to keep going back to your childhood because it starts to sound a bit pervy, but did your parents maybe give you a lot of mashed up banana as a baby? I mean, didn't everyone eat mashed up banana as a baby? Probably. I, well, I have no memory of it. No, me either. But maybe, maybe we just had coal where I lived. I don't know. 
Possibly. So you don't like the texture of bananas. You don't like the shape of bananas because they've traumatised you because your RE teacher, for some unknown reason, put a condom on one. Do you put condoms on bananas when you eat them now? Do you think that's what condoms are for? (laughs) (laughs) Practice safe bananas. (laughs) What else do you put condoms on? (laughs) Oh, my God. Um, well, no, I don't. Quite a weird question, but, but. I don't. <laughs> I feel like I probably shouldn't answer. That. Oh God! But you go and buy a bunch of bananas from the street and then just pop into the chemist from the street with your bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, putting aside the condom issue... <laughs> Please put aside the condom issue. And the fact that you have to peel the skin off... Yeah. ..and there is stringy bits... Yeah. And sometimes they're overripe and they've got sort of brown blotches on and they might be a bit mushy. But putting all of that aside, imagine I present you with a... <laughs> Careful. <laughs> perfectly, ...perfectly ripened, already peeled banana... Chopped up to, into segments so that it doesn't invoke the condom issue when you're a RE teacher. <laughs> would you be able to eat it? I mean, I, I'd try it. I'd try it. But I mean, even even if you have like a smoothie and someone's like, oh, it's the perfect way to have banana in your life because you like, you know, it's just blended in a smoothie. The flavour is still there, like lurking in the background. Like it just, oh. So, you, but you don't like the taste of bananas, but you do like the taste of banana flavour. Mm, I think I think that might be it. I think it's one of smoothie. I just I think it's the fact that they're like banana phobia is a genuine real thing. I mean, I don't know. Yep. And so I think anything. Well, anybody who's in your RE class. Yeah. <laughs> like anything that is a phobia, like, it should just be banned. Like it's weird. Like it shouldn't. Oh, they're creepy. And on top of all of that, they have been used throughout time to make people fall over. So they're dangerous and therefore should be banned. Oh, what you mean the skins? Yeah. Isn't that just something that happened in the Beano, though? I don't think that... I, I mean, that possibly, but still, they're just, oh, horrible things. I mean, the wrappings of packs of butter would also make people fall over. You're just not supposed to drop things. So oh, you yeah. Can't, you can't no, hold no. that against the banana. Rather than anti-banana. <laughs> you can't hold it against the banana, that it was the unwitting victim of a bad joke in comics from before the war. <laughs> I think you're just making excuses now. They're just terrible. I think, but they're also full of energy. So sort of athletes and motorcycle races, they eat pasta and bananas. And also TV likes bananas because um, in voiceover booths, you will often find a bottle of water and a banana. And the reason you have a banana is something to do with the, the pH level of the banana or something. I don't know. I've never looked into it. But something about that stops your stomach gurgling which is important. My stomach's doing it now, actually, because I haven't eaten very much today. If I were in voiceover, rather than talking to you on the internet, I would have a banana. I think you've, you've got a phobia um, based on the, well, I don't want to say phallic appearance of a banana, because it's not really true. That's not what a penis looks like. But anyway, um, that, the incident with the RE teacher which should have been investigated by Oxfob or whatever it <laughs> means that you, you you believe you don't like bananas but I think actually you probably do like bananas if if you are eased into bananas as I was saying earlier but you know it's the it's in the nature of the banana presentation we need to remove from the banana experience uh, all the bits that you find intimidating So, as I said, freshly peeled banana of the correct ripeness, pre-slushed. How about in custard? Oh, my God, custard is the worst thing in the world. Oh, God, what is the matter with you? Genuinely, like, the thought of banana and custard, that would be, if I ever went on Saturday Kitchen, that would be my food hell, bananas and custard. Oh, terrible. Bring Lucy Brown in. I'm going to bring Lucy Brown into the argument since she's here and she's quite posh. Lucy Brown, bananas and custard. Lovely. There you go. They're great. And as we've established previously, Lucy is posh. No, I'm not. What about a banoffee pie? No, rubbish. Just ruined. Like, toffee is great. Why put bananas in there? I don't like those really sticky toffee and puddings and... 
tiramisu and all that sort of thing. I, I, I like stuff with custard because custard's great, Just or custard. custard as they call it in Yorkshire. I think we nearly agreed on something there, Joe. What? Our mutual dislike of banoffee pie. Yeah, I don't. Yes, yeah, so you don't like it because it's got bananas in it. Yeah. I don't like it. Actually, I don't like it because it's got toffee in it. I do like toffee, but I don't want. It's all sort of sticky, and you can't eat it properly. Just put the bananas in some custard, and I've done with it. Take the condom off first, otherwise it'd be difficult to chew. <laughs> <laughs> do you put the condom on the banana before you slice it up? I'm not. I'm unclear. <laughs> Well, I mean, this is a bit me too, isn't it? Talking to you. I know, I think it might be. I feel oh, like... is it? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Either that or you're sorting out all my childhood traumas and I need to be here same time next week. <laughs> okay, but the other, we, we had a challenge um, in one of our other arguments about homemade chutney and you were going to make a chutney and I would give you £100 if it was as good as or better than Branson with a piece of mousetrap cheddar. That was mm-hmm. that was what we agreed, wasn't it? So let's I'm have really, another one. I'm really scared about what you're going to say now. Well, as a way of easing you into accepting the banana, how about we go to the bug out bunker kitchen and you have to make me bananas in custard. It can be ready-made custard. It doesn't have to be. You don't have to make it from scratch. Okay. Although you can make it from scratch if you read my forthcoming book, which is out quite soon. Nice. Plug. <laughs> That was really subtle. Like you just, it was seamless. You didn't even notice, did you? Which do you prefer? That you have to eat bananas and custard or you have to go through the process of peeling and chopping, taking the condom off, obviously, peeling, chopping a banana, making some custard. It's all yellow. It's got bananas in it and it's got custard in it. You have to put them them in a bowl, which you've warmed up, and, and serve it to me. Which would you rather? Make or eat? I think I'd rather. I think I'd. This eat. is bullying, by the way. This is work, this is workplace <laughs> bullying. But um, I think I'd find it easier it. to make it because even having to touch it would would be gross. But I think I could manage that more than having to actually put it in my mouth. Okay. So what's the deal? If you can make, if you can do it. I don't know. I think both outcomes led to me getting a hundred pounds. So I'm, I'm happy either. <laughs> Sounds so. That sounds like the easiest hundred pounds in the world. I should have said a fiver, shouldn't I? I mean, you say that, but I mean, I I genuinely don't think I could eat a bowl of bananas and custard. I don't think I could do it. Okay, how about you have to make it and eat it? Okay. Do I then get two hundred pounds? No, no. (laughs) (laughs) I'll win the hundred pounds back on something else anyway. So I'm not not too worried about the hundred pounds. Okay, so we'll do that. Um, Mm -hmm. Lucy Brown, if you're still here, yes, you are. Um, could you arrange once we're allowed to do it for a bug out bunker session bananas and custard I'll also make you a fish finger sandwich or a cup of tea nice cup of tea oh oh my god that bananas and custard with a cup of tea on the side oh my god like I can't oh have you got some sort of synesthesia thing going on do you associate I mean you've got it back to front because flavours are rather than things having flavours I don't think so. I mean, it's weird because I'm, I wouldn't call myself a remotely fussy eater, but then... Oh, I feel like, no, it doesn't sound like it. But then exactly, it just, I mean, all of these things. Ah. So you won't eat a banana, which is God's bounty. It's presented to you as an entire, very healthy, energy-giving food stuff in its own package. It doesn't actually need a condom on it. It's already got, like, a protective cover. <laughs> It falls to the ground, it's there for you. You won't eat that, but you will rummage around in the bin and make some chutney out of bits of old tat. I mean, I think, yeah, that's just summed me up. (laughs) You've seen me. I feel seen. I do do my best to be, you know, in touch with all, but I just don't understand you young people. You're all odd. So, do you like bananas or do you hate bananas? If you like bananas... Put the word banana in comment. If you um, hate bananas, put I hate bananas in the comments and then we'll count them up. That's simple, isn't it? <laughs>